Proverbs R38 and R39. This is a political map, so it's showing state capitals. Why are you so late? I, I just had to show the whole way. Yeah. Well, I hope you know you're going to have detention. <laughs> anyway, political maps. They show the borders of the countries. They show the capitals of the countries. This one is all Asia and Europe with a little bit of Africa. Today is a map of Asia and Europe. Russia is the biggest country that expands across both Asia and Europe. It's in Eastern Europe and it's in all of Northern Asia. The second largest country in Asia is China. Really? Liz, you already have a detention. Do you really want to get in more trouble? I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, then what were you doing? Just go out in the hallway. <laughs> Japan is off the coast of Asia. Why don't you just kill yourself? Nobody loves you, not even your family. You're a waste of space. You're nothing. It never was. Haha, <laughs> pretty much. Where are you going? It's none of your business. Hi, Dallas. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, I just had to report something. Okay. What's um, going on? Well, one of my friends is getting bullied, and I just was here to keep the community. Okay, what's happening? Um, they've been saying pretty mean things to her, and pushing her so sad to hand. Okay, what, like, what kind of things do they Joseph, with so much distance. Mr. Fry, can I borrow Liz for a little bit? Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. Liz, I had a report that some, someone has been bullying you. Can you please tell me a little bit about this? Well, people are just saying things and doing mean things to me, but it's okay, I can deal with it. Okay, but it sounds pretty serious, so can you tell me what's been going on and who's involved? Well, Faith, Justice, Danny, and Anthony have been, like, pushing me into lockers and telling me mean things, like, go kill yourself and, like, no one likes you or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is there anything more that I need to know? Well, I just don't know what to do anymore, and I don't know what to do if they found out about this, and I don't want to find out. Telling is pretty brave, so I'm glad that you were you told me about it. I think I can. You are stupid. Give up. No one would be care. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I'm done being around people like you. Just leave her alone, would you? Dude, chill. She deserves it. No, she does not deserve it. No one does. Bullying is when someone is picked on, teased, or even physically harmed repeatedly. Not just once or twice, but it's repeated. That's the biggest thing that people need to know about bullying. Bullying is constantly harming someone on purpose to make them feel embarrassed or just not worth it. Bullying is something where a person is constantly harming a person repeatedly. Bullying is when someone teases on another person more than once repeatedly. Bullying can actually when you, when you harm people over and over. If, you, if you're bullied, you feel like your self-worth goes way down, you feel worthless, 
Uh, you might feel anxiety, that sick feeling in your stomach. You might not want to come to school. Your grades and your relationship suffer, and you just feel bad about yourself. It feels like you're not worth it, and that no one cares or ever will, and it makes you feel like it makes you have this big weight on your shoulders that you can't seem to get off. You start to feel like kind of self-conscious about yourself and you don't want to be around people. If you are getting bullied, you're probably going to be depressed and you're not really going to be fun. You're probably like your friends will like kind of drift away from you and you won't like want to do the same things that you and your friends like used to do. It makes you feel like you're not good enough to be um, around people or be like you know, people who are like you. Most people bully others because they don't feel good about themselves just the way they are because they have low self-esteem. So they have to pick on others and make, make them feel bad about themselves so they can feel good about themselves. So really, a bully is a person who doesn't feel good about themselves and has low self-esteem. They bully others because they might have something going on in their life, like something could be going on at home, or they're just taking their feelings out on other people to make themselves feel better. People bully others because they think that it's alright to do that, even though it's really not. Kids might bully others for like many reasons, like if they are feeling low, they might feel the need to pick on someone else, like, oh, I'm having a bad day, so I'm going to pick on someone, so I'm just going to make my day better. To make them feel better about themselves, or if they're having a bad day, they can make somebody also feel about how they feel. For people that are standing by, to stand up and say something, to do something about it, and to not let it go unreported. If I was the person being bullied, then I would stand up for myself, and if it was a big situation, then I'd probably walk away and try to get a trusted adult to help me out, and if I was seeing someone being bullied, I would definitely stand up for them and get an adult involved. If I was too shy to say or stand up and say stop, then I would go tell all the guys. If it was me getting bullied, I would try to stand up to the bully and tell them that like it's not cool. But like if I was a bystander, I'd still confront the bully. And like if I was too scared to confront the bully, I would just go and tell like a guidance counselor or like a teacher or a trusted adult or something. Well, I'd stand up for myself and tell them it's not okay and how would you feel like that if you were in somebody else's shoes. I think the biggest thing the school could do, because there's only a few teachers to a lot of students, to take, and the students, like I said before, stand up and take a stand against bullying. Tell a counselor, tell a teacher, and then they can help you resolve the issue. But keeping it a secret, laughing and going along with the person that's being the picking on someone else, that just fuels more bullying. I think that we could do more activities to bring awareness to it and so that way people know what it is and can recognize it when they see it. The school could probably do like a club or something to prevent bullying. I think the school, like, they already like tell us about bullying how we should stop it, but no one takes action and stops it. So if, like, we did this thing where, like, the more kids report, the better it is or something, the better, like, I think bullying would stop. Maybe make some, like, clubs or groups about stopping bullying, or maybe these, maybe teachers can take some action in noticing bullying. <laughs>
outcasts and rebels Or anyone who just dares to be different And you've been trying for so long To find out where your place is But in their narrow minds There's no room for anyone Who dares to do something different Listen for a minute Trust the one Who's been where you are Wishing all it was With sticks and stones Those words cut deep 